Hey everyone, and welcome to section 8 of this RTS tutorial series. This section will cover our AI, and I just want to congratulate everyone on making it this far. And thank you for your support. And for a little bit of fun, take a look at the thumbnails throughout this section after the video that comes out later today. So what will this section cover? In this section, we will set up our behavior tree and our blackboard. Our behavior tree are the instructions for what the AI should do. The blackboard are the variables the AI is going to use in the behavior tree. We'll set up custom tasks, services, and decorators. Now, very roughly speaking, and I'll go into more detail about these throughout the series, the tasks are the dirty work, what the AI is actually going to do, the end result we'll see on screen. The services and decorators occur behind the scenes, or the services run on ticks, and the decorators are like flow control statements. We'll use existing functions in good object-oriented fashion to support the AI. For example, when a building, or sorry, when a unit is told to go into a building, we don't need to program the AI to do all right, the unit's at the entry point, make it invisible, make it deselectable. We have those functions already. We'll reuse those in the AI. It's why we did them. And we will create new functions to support the AI in other areas, such as the video coming out later today. So what will the AI do? Well, we're going to have a few behavior trees. We have a base behavior tree that will do four major things. It's going to check the status of the unit. This will then lead to the unit doing certain tasks. If the unit is told to be automated, then it's going to pick different behavior trees based on the type of unit on uh, it's automated. So all units will find housing or billeting. All units will respond to status checks. So if their fatigue is too high and they're not busy, they're going to go to sleep. If their hunger is too high, they're going to find food. In right conditions, they will disregard orders if they don't trust the orders being given to them. And if their fear is too high, they might flee combat. Now, the automated jobs are going to use things we could tell the unit to do ourselves. Like, we could send a unit to go harvest resources, but instead, we might want the AI just to pick resources and harvest it itself. So, harvester units might just go do that. Our engineer units might go build and repair buildings and vehicles, and our infantry units will patrol and attack enemies. All right, that said, I look forward to seeing you in the rest of the series, and I hope that you have a wonderful day.